right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power, and I've got an interesting video for you guys today. Um, so as you guys know, gyms have been shut down for the past three to four months, and they're just now starting to reopen nationwide. And a lot of people are getting pretty excited to finally get back to the gym. We've been training at home, we've been stuck at home, um, and now the gyms are starting to reopen and we have the opportunity to go back. Um, and a lot of gyms are struggling with trying to maintain a safe environment, a clean, sterile environment for people to return to because there are certain people that are concerned about going back to the gyms. Um, obviously, they closed because of the worldwide pandemic that we're all facing, um, so that's still a problem that that most gyms are still currently wrestling with, but one gym had a very unique solution to this problem. So this gym, Inspire South Bay Fitness in Redondo Beach, California, had a very interesting solution where they installed workout pods for gym goers to work out in a contained environment. Now, these pods are an interesting idea. Rather than using plexiglass, they actually use shower curtains and PVC pipes to create this little enclosure for people to work out within. And inside, they have an exercise mat. They have all the dumbbells they would need. They have uh, wipes to kind of wipe down when they're done. So it's a pretty interesting little setup that they've got going on there. And the owner of this gym is referring to this new uh, implement as the gains pod. Now, I find this to be a fascinating way to combat the whole mask wearing issue because if you've returned to a gym already, you guys have probably noticed that not a lot of people are actually wearing masks to the gym. And it's a very hard rule to enforce if you're a gym owner to force the gym goers to actually wear a mask. It's a very difficult thing to do. Um, and the reality of it is there are people that are vulnerable to the spread of this elderly people and people with compromised immune systems. So those people um, are finding it hard to return to the gym or want to return to a gym where they don't have anything implemented to protect them because it's really hard to enforce the mask wearing. Even a primary example, a prominent example of this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was apparently intending on returning to training at the iconic Gold's Gym in Venice, California, um, where he trained obviously all throughout the 70s, preparing for those Olympias back then. Um, and he was returning there Tuesday morning. And when he saw that people weren't wearing masks and that they couldn't enforce um, this mask wearing rule, he reportedly turned around and left and did not train there. And he's got a home gym at home, so he probably went back to work out at home. But the reality of the situation is Arnold makes a great example. He's 72 years old. There's a lot of elderly people that want to go to the gym. And these are also the people that are most susceptible. So solutions like this, the gains pod, um, offer an interesting perspective on how the future might look um, for more gyms going forward. Obviously, the gym in that video um, seemed more like an individualized training gym, kind of a CrossFit looking gym um, where people have more of the ability to work out on their own in an isolated place, but people that are looking for variety and looking to train on different machines, um, you can't necessarily pack all the equipment that one person wants into a pod for every gym. So obviously this isn't a solution for every gym, but could something like this be a possible solution for gyms in the future that are looking to gain back that elderly demographic um, that doesn't want to go back because the mask wearing isn't effective or concerns about the spread um, are still there. So I think it's going to be interesting to see going forward if there is a second wave or not, if there are going to be gyms closing down again because of this. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think of this gains pod concept? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's overreacting? Do you think it's doing too much? Do you think more gyms should implement this? Or do you think there's no concern at all um, and we should go back to life completely as usual? So let me know in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy it. And as always, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.